<laughs> this is Sosa, the next super dog. He's Billy Badass. He's never been out. I don't know how he's gonna react to what he sees. Suddenly there's this husky that's coming towards us and right off the bat there was tension. No. Alright, let's do this. Alright. This is Sosa. He's the next prodigy. He's the next best thing. So yeah, Sosa is definitely a little Alright, be calm. He doesn't know what calm means though. Not yet. Little He's just a young little psychopath. He's about 10 months old now. He's probably relatively close to the size that he will actually be. You'll notice that he's, he's very different from, you know, where he was last time. To actually teach him to be a pure soldier takes a lot of time. He's extra, extra stubborn, and that's really what you want. When you got a dog that's like a mega asshole, you almost know they're gonna do good in this field. Building one of these dogs, what you're doing is, you're giving this dog the biggest ego that he can possibly have. He literally needs to think he is invincible, he's the baddest dog walking on the planet, and nothing can stop him. You gotta check your ego at the door, it's all about the dog's ego. You know, he's gotta think he's Billy Badass 24-7. I'm gonna get him on this wedge, let him get a couple bites, just make sure his engagement is right. He might get bit, might get punched in the face by a paw. Definitely gonna get dragged around. But if you don't like that, don't train dogs. I'll train him to be 100% war ready. Like he doesn't understand that he's like training for protection work. He just thinks he's playing a game. So that game's gonna carry on until we start to show him, you know, an actual threat. But right now, it's literally we're just playing a game. You know, because basically what you're doing, you eliminate hesitation, you know what I mean? That's what we want. Because in, in this game, security game, you hesitate, you die. So the dog, you gotta learn zero hesitation. And this dog has spent most of his time here on the farm, but it's time that, you know, we take him out in the public, we take him out to more in a city setting, we see how he is, you know, around traffic, you know, around just regular people, because that's gonna be an important part of being a protection dog is being able to function in you know general society. So you know I just want to test test his mindset. I just want to see where his head is really at. And, you know that's what we're gonna go do today. So today we're gonna take Sosa out into Concord and just let him see things that we don't have up home. He's never been out, so this is all new for him. He's gonna be like dragging me down the street. It's gonna be a good time. So we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Honestly, like, I'm just literally looking for things like, even like, like that right there, like just a little staircase. I might just let him walk him down. I'm literally just getting him used to things that you would think you would never have to get something used to. And that's what I'm doing right now. So we call it imprinting and dog training. Just basic, basic wandering around with him. I don't know how he's gonna react to what he sees, but he's on the prowl. See, his swag ain't changed, that's what we want. So basically, I'm just letting him, you know, see the sights, see just what it's like to see just everyday people, traffic, cars, sounds. He isn't really obedient yet. So, you know, we can't let anybody touch him or anything like that. So nobody's ever dealt with Sosa but me and Lisa, really. One of the worst situations that we could have is, you know, there being a ton of people just trying to flood Sosa when we're trying to, you know, do this imprinting. So I needed my security with me to keep people at bay. We get a lot of people coming up to us wanting to take pictures. A lot of attention. Right now, we kind of want to keep people at bay and just really focus on the dog. Come on, bro. Yeah, this is weird. I think this is weird, too. Come on. Come on. If I'm going, you're going. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. So the reason why I had him doing this is repetition, you know. So initially, he had a little pause, we didn't want to do it. So we just pull him through it, you know, no fear. And then by the second or third time, confidence starts to change. So we're building confidence in the dog. So, Skip, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Right through, right through, come on, jump. Do do, do do, do the next one. Getting him to jump through the hoop, he did really well in that, and it was great to see him learn something like that and master it in just a few tries. He learned really quick. Good job. I can tell right now he really doesn't like to be around in tight spaces too much, so 
That's something that I'm gonna work on. There you go. So I'm walking down the street and suddenly there's this husky that's coming towards nope. us in an aggressive posture. Nope. So. No. No. He's never, he's never seen nothing like that. You can see when the husky came up, he got down real low and he got in this position, which is a stalking position, you know? So right off the bat, there was tension. He's, he's alert right now, you know? So he's kind of bothered, so. This is why he's here. This is all things that he has to work on, uh, you know? So, you know, we've seen another dog. His reaction, just, it wasn't, it just was mildly disappointing, but it's not anything that we can't correct. He's still got a long way to go. We got a lot to do with him, but I know he's gonna be the future star here at DDK. Normally when you deal with protection dogs, you know, you're not gonna get the dog that has this like stunning look. You know, you pick based on performance. So to have a dog that's that rare, that I know just from seeing him has the skills to be probably the best dog that I've ever trained is a, is a gift. He's gonna be a star beyond. He's a prodigy.